am Dr. Swachla, scientific director with Ziva Fertility Centers. When you go to a gynecologist or a reproductive endocrinologist for treatment, they usually ask you to come on day two or day three to begin the treatment. Of course, you may be analyzed any time during the uh, period, during your menstrual cycle. You may be, you know, going through a scan. You may be uh, asked to do blood tests. But to start a treatment protocol, whether it is ovulation induction with timed intercourse, where you are asked to try naturally, whether it is uh, IUI or it is IVF. Usually before starting a period, lot of blood tests and ultrasonography is performed. But on day two or day three is when treatment is begun. IUI timed intercourse can vary a little because the scan is done to see if the egg is growing and letros and clomiphene citrate or injections can be added on in a natural cycle or IUI. But for IVF, definitely day two or day three are preferred for starting up treatment. Sometimes when you go um, expecting treatment to begin on day two or day three, the doctor will suggest that you don't go for treatment in that month because of a cyst in your ovaries. This is called as an ovarian cyst. and this leads to hormonal imbalances due to which whatever treatment options you may go for may not work for you and it will bring down the success rate. Therefore, ovarian cysts are of importance and if your doctor suggests that you don't go for treatment in that cycle, heed to that advice and you can go for it next month. So what are ovarian cysts and what are the different types present? The first one is a functional cyst. A functional cyst can be of two types, follicular cysts or corpus luteal cyst. Follicular cyst is as the name suggests, it is the one which is growing, which has the egg inside it and that's the one that ovulates. But sometimes these follicular cysts, even after uh, uh, growing in size, do not ovulate. They keep becoming very stubborn and they are just growing in size and because of this growth there is a lot of accumulation of estrogen and uh, there is no release effect but estrogen is rising which is not good and therefore it could lead to delayed periods as well this is a common cause in pcod patients so that is also not good and which may lead to postponement of uh, any treatment another kind is corpus luteal cyst after an egg is ovulated the cyst that is left behind is called a corpus luteal cyst and it releases progesterone but in some cases before after release of progesterone also, this corpus luteal cyst does not degenerate and keeps releasing progesterone which is not good. It leads to growth of the endometrium, overgrowth of the endometrium and no shedding of the endometrial lining. So this is also a problem your doctor will look at and try to sort it before giving you any treatment option. Then there is something called as endometriotic cyst. Uh, the endometrial lining, if it grows anywhere outside uh, the uterus, because the inside layer is called the endometrium and if this tissue grows anywhere outside the uterus it is called as endometriosis and when present in the ovaries it is called as endometriotic cyst this cyst also under the influence of all the hormones like uh, estrogen progesterone follicular stimulating hormone lh all these act on this cyst and every month this cyst increases in size fills up with blood fills up with pus and it's not good it's painful the toxic effect of this uh, endometrial cyst is also on the other cysts that are present in the ovaries and therefore it, they damage those eggs also which are present around the cyst. So this cyst also is not good and if present your doctor will try to treat this before taking you up for any treatment options. Then there are the dermoid cysts that need to be looked at and your doctor will decide what treatment options better for such kind of a cyst. Then there is cyst adenomas. Cyst adenomas are cysts present again in the uh, ovaries and these will also be looked at by your doctors. These are also fluid filled cysts that are building up inside the ovaries. So these cysts can definitely interfere with the, your treatment and bring down your success rate. Therefore, if your doctor has given you the option of postponing the cycle, please listen to them and get the treatment done before you go on to infertility treatment. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us on the numbers that you see on the screen. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.